Welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. In this video, I want to take a look at an article on phys.org. Uh, it presents, uh, it's an article that presents the findings of a Dr. William Ramasur. Dr. William Ram Ramasur is an arbovirologist. I won't go into what that is, but he's also an entomologist. Uh, entomology is the study of insects. So he knows what insects are, he studies them, it's his life. And he's taken a look at Curio the Curiosity rover that uh, the United States has um, on Mars. And he's taken a look at the photos there. And he says those photos show evidence of insects. Not just fossilized insects, but live insects flying around. I'm going to go to that article right now. We'll take a look at that article. This is an article on phys.org dated November 19. 2019. I'll provide a link in the description down below. As scientists scramble to determine whether there is life on Mars, Ohio University professor emeritus William Ramasur's research shows that we already have the evidence, courtesy of photographs from various Mars rovers. Dr. Ramasur, who specializes in arbovirology and general medical entomology, has spent several years studying photographs from the red planet that are available on the internet. He found numerous examples of insect-like forms structured similarly to bees as well as reptile-like forms, both as fossils and living creatures. He presented his findings Tuesday, November 19 at the National Meeting of Entomological Society of America in St. Louis, Missouri. There has been and still is life on Mars, Ramasur said, noting that the mimages appear to show both fossilized and living creatures. There is apparent diversity among the Martian insect-like fauna which display many features similar to Terran insects that are interpreted as advanced groups. For example, the presence of wings, wing flexion, agile gliding and flight, and variously structured leg elements. Distinct flight behavior was evident in many images, Ramasur said. These creatures loosely resemble bumblebees or carpenter bees on Earth. Other images show these bees appearing to shelter or nest in caves, and others show a fossilized creature that resembles a snake. The evidence of life on Mars presented here provides a strong basis for many additional important biological as well as social and political questions, he added. It also represents a solid justification for further study. Now this article also provides a photo of one of the insects that he found. I'll uh, place that photo up here uh, that comes from the article. Also want to uh, read off for the caption underneath this photo real quick. So I'll cut to that um, and we'll read the caption what it states about this insect. Um, not the type of insect you would want to come across on earth. Or rather large. I'll cut to that right now. A specimen whose head appears to have turned in the direction of the camera. Based on the scale provided in the photo from which this was extracted, the individual is estimated to be 20 inches long. Now, of course, for those of us who have been studying this for four decades, uh, we know that life was found on Mars a long time ago. In 1976, the United States sent the Viking lander to Mars. Um, it did several tests. Almost all of them came positive, get back as positive for life. One of them came back as negative for life. Uh, it turns out that one test that came back negative was flawed. So all of the tests essentially came back as positive for life on Mars. Uh, and this was in 1976. They've essentially been covering up, and they're doing a slow release to get people used to the fact that there's life on Mars. It's not just life on Mars that was found. I've done videos, I've done a lengthy five-part series uh, called Ancient Civilization on Mars. Um, when I get to a computer, I'll provide links up there so that you can um, click on those links and take a look at those uh, documentaries that I've uh, created as well. So as you can see, um, those of us who have been studying this for four decades and knew that there was life on Mars have been right all along. Um, I'm certain that in the near future there will be even more evidence uh, to support our uh, contention that there has been life on Mars and that there are, have been in the past civilizations on Mars and maybe in fact still are on Mars. 
Thanks for listening, everybody, and have a great day.